All right, so let's take a look at one way you could use Notion as a daily planner. So we have this in front of us here, it's empty. Uh, there's a link to this template down below you can grab. And then with some of the skills, hopefully you picked up in earlier sessions here, you can edit it as you see fit. We'll go ahead and start adding a daily, daily planner to it. So we'll click new. Uh, the first field in Notion, the initial one at least, always has to be text. And so uh, we just have to type it in here, January 4, 2021. And then the actual date we also put in a little redundant, but that way it'll work in calendar view. If you do other fancy things with it, it'll keep it sorted correctly. Let's open it up. Uh, the next five things in here are optional. Set them up how you want. The big three are based on the Michael Hyatt full focus planner idea of the big three tasks you want to do for the day. Exercise I have is a drop down for what exercise I did. So we put run and then reading is just text for what you read from. So, you know, read a bit, oops, read a bit of cast today. Still working through that one. Um, the key to this is down here, though, with this daily schedule. So we'll click on that daily schedule template, which, again, you can grab this if you want and customize a lot. I'm just going to show you what's in here. So we have the morning and workday startup rituals. So just you can put things in here to make sure you do um, exercise, add vitamins, and workday. Uh, let it load in here. Got the inbox zero and got Slack cleaned up and reviewed my big three. So cool. So let's collapse those. Events, I like to just type in the events for the day, the big ones. It's a little redundant, but it helps me just think through anything I need to do beforehand. So I can put you know, 10 o'clock staff meeting. Okay, am I ready for that? So I have notes. Okay, cool. 11.30, lunch with clients. Um, 6.30, you know, drive dog to dance. Just kind of making sure I keep things top of mind and know what's going on. Notes, I just kind of have open during the day. And to that point, I often do open as page. This is just a full page. I may do a cute graphic at the top, but this just kind of lives open in a tab all day. So I have it in front of me for what's going on and notes I have. The daily task, you do a little task list in here. I think you should pull in your proper task database if you have one, uh, as we've talked about in the previous session, but however you want to handle tasks. And then I have a workday shutdown, you know, get back to zero on things, look through any notes I threw in Google Keep or in here, set tomorrow with big three, and then look at the evening routine. And then just other things you should try to do for a quick daily journal. These are just some questions I pulled from somewhere, I'm not sure where, um, just for quick ideas for a daily, daily journey, and you'll have that in there. And then the next day, you just go back to daily and um, add another day, yeah, January 5th, and just keep working through. When we get to the weekly planner in a minute, I'll show you how I usually create all these days ahead of time to get them ready and how that looks at a week at a glance, but that's a look inside of each day.